Alrighty guys, so it's me, Tanzania, aka Tansy, the Glow Up Guru. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to show you how to do it too. This is a channel where we all glow. So yeah, keep watching as I put my gloves on, even though I'm having a hard time. Obviously. Wait for it, wait for it. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. So right now I'm using L'Oreal 40 Volume Developer. And I am mixing it with Quick Blue by L'Oreal Powder. And guys, I used two times. At, okay, for one batch of powder that I put in, like a couple of scoops or whatever, I use double that in liquid form of the form, um, Volume Developer. So it's two parts, Developer, one part bleach and I'm just adding it to my hair I dad mixed it I'm starting on my sides because my sides were dark blue um I did take out the tansy technique which is a weave that I typically do I've been doing it for the past two three months and um yeah I enjoy it so if it looks kind of crazy at the beginning where it's like okay where'd the fro hog go that's because it's weed. It's a tansy technique, and I have other videos on that. So, yeah, just check out my previous videos. Watch this video to the end, please. And um, you'll see exactly what I mean once you go watch the other videos. Right now, I'm just combing the bleach through. Yes, I comb it through because my hair is short. And I do take my gloves off when I do this. I mean, guys, also for future reference, if you ever get bleach, hair bleach, or developer on your hands, it's the developer that burns, not the powder. And when you get the developer mixed with the, the powder or the bleach, it will burn the heck out of your hands. It'll feel like your hands are burning from within. So what I would advise you to do is when that happens, is coat your hands in a little bit of um, neutralizing shampoo right when you get burnt. <coughs> right when you um put it on there and it should help and guys the shampoo you can use is iso plus neutralizing shampoo i think i'm about to show it to you yeah i use this it's inexpensive it works i wash my hair about three times and on the third time i let it sit in my hair and then wash it out and um i also use apple g two step uh, no, not two step. Apple, eh, hold on. <laughs> Apple G two minute reconstructor. Okay, I use that. So, yeah, keep watching. So, yeah, guys, I'm just, you know, doing my thing. And I also use this conditioner. I got this out of a box, a permanent color box dye. Uh, it's by Clarion. It's just something old that I've been using. It's conditioning and treatment with moisturizer, so I use it. Alrighty, guys. So here's the big reveal. I'm blonde. All the way. Yeah. In the back, too? Yes. One bleach. That's what I'm talking about. Also, guys, my hair had been previously dyed blue, so recently... But I have a technique where I strip my hair using Dawn dish soap, vitamin C tablets, as well as baking soda. And I use that technique two times. And then my hair will be basically stripped. It'll be dry, but it'll be stripped of the color. And then I add, then I go ahead and go in with the bleach like I just showed you. But right now, I wasn't done, so I went ahead and added some yellow in there. So I was thinking about a golden, like, honey color. And I had mixed brown in it as well, sienna brown, and that's by door. And the yellow is funky yellow by Temptations. I just mixed them together. And, uh, yeah, there's the sienna brown from a door. Guys, these colors are cheap. I get them from my local beauty supply. You can also get them on Amazon. I believe I got the yellow funky, uh, the funky yellow dye from, from Amazon and the Sienna Brown Adore color 
from my local beauty supply. And I'm just gonna mix those together. Yeah. Get the mixing. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm mixing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we on the something. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put some more yellow in there. All right. Let's see where this goes. Where's this going? Oh, yeah, on my head. Duh. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. And then I'm applying. And yeah, that is a bright ass yellow. If I ever did see a yellow. And then I just said screw it and put it all over my hair with my hand. I was like, I don't need gloves. I can wash this off with some regular bleach. Like, guys, if you ever get um, a lot of color on your hands, this is temporary, so it doesn't really matter. But if you get, you could probably wash it off with some some dish soap. But when you have, like, permanent hair dye, and this is all temporary dye. But if you um, um, have permanent dye, and you get it all over your hand and it stains, you can always use um, Clorox bleach, Clorox bleach on your hands. It'll be drying, but it'll help take off the dye. That's what I do. Don't use it on your face or your skin or nothing besides your hands. Just your hands, okay? And right now, I decided I didn't like the yellow looking look. So I added Raging Red by a door. So I added that to the mixture to make it a little better. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that don't look right. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and add that the yellow in there. I don't want to be overpowered by the red. I just do my thing. Come on, mix it up, girl. Alrighty, guys, so I'm orange, but the hair side I chose was a fail, in my opinion. I added, applied my weave, but I didn't use the tansy technique. Instead, I used my spider method, which uses yarn, as y'all can see. And when I did that, this is what I got. I didn't like it, so I took it.